Hey guys, how's it going? This is Colin. I'm the lead mechanic here at Bike House in Newport Beach, California, and I'm going to walk you through how to remove the cassette on your bike using these tools. In the kit, you'll get a few tools. One of the first ones you'll get, this is actually the chain whip, which also doubles as a bottom bracket removal tool. So this chain whip attaches to the cassette and will help you hold it in place while you remove it. And the next tool you'll get is a 8mm Allen key, and this is going to adapt into a half inch drive adapter which will help you go into the cassette lock ring tool. And both these tools function together and will help you get a grip on the cassette to break it loose. First, we're gonna start by taking the rear wheel off. Using whatever tool you need, sometimes it'll be a quick release, sometimes it'll be an Allen wrench. In this case, it's an Allen wrench. So now that you have the wheel off and you have the cassette facing out, you'll take your cassette lock ring tool first and you put that probably in about the middle of the cassette just so you have a good amount of chain wrap on it and make sure that the chain is engaged down here and that you can put some force on it without it breaking loose. Next, you'll take the cassette lock ring tool, insert that until it keys into the cassette and then you can either put the adapter on the wrench or put the adapter on here first. And you wanna get these about perpendicular with each other just for a good amount of leverage and then lean into them. Now that we got the cassette off, I would recommend cleaning it out and putting some fresh grease on the threads before installing it. A high quality grease, something waterproof in particular, make sure you get the threads and the contact areas within the cassette. In some cases, the cassette will be individual gears and you have to line them up and put them on one by one. In our case, this is one piece and it'll be going up back on the same way we took it off. Turn the cassette until you feel it key in, insert the tool, and you can use the cassette to ratchet it. You feel it get really tight, and once it does, put it in a good perpendicular position and give it one more little push. And that's it, we're good to go. Now in the shop we have some pretty fancy tools with some high leverage stuff, but this, really you can't beat it for the price, especially if you're starting a new shop in your garage or you just need to add some tools to your collection. You really can't beat what you got going on here for the price and it really makes the job a lot easier than taking it to a shop or wherever you need to go. All right, this is Colin, Lead Mechanic at Bike House. Thanks so much for watching. I hope I helped you work on your bike.